In a previous video, I went over the concept of the powers of 10, and we looked at the patterns associated with it. If you haven't checked it out, I'll drop a link to that video in the description. But today, what we're going to go over is how to multiply a whole number by a power of 10. Let's do a really quick refresher on the concept, and then we can jump into solving some examples. A powers of 10 is a continuation of the topic of exponents. It is focused on exponents with the 10 as the base. When you have the base of 10 and an exponential index of n, the powers of 10 says the resulting number will be 1 followed by n number of zeros. So, for example, 10 to the 7th represents the same thing as 1 followed by 7 zeros, which means 10 million. So if it can be broken down into 1 plus 7 zeros, then if we were to multiply a whole number by 10 to the 7th, we would end up getting the whole number plus 7 zeros, right? Let's prove that out by looking at a few examples. Take a look at these four first. First example, 6 times 10 squared. We know that 10 squared is equal to 100. So 6 times 100 would equal 600. Next example, 12 times 10 to the 5th. We take 12 and we add five zeros after our answer, and it's 1,200,000. Next one, 28 times 10 to the 3rd, or 10 cubed. We write down 28 and we add three zeros for 28,000. Finally, 20 times 10 to the 6th. We write down 20 and then add the additional six zeros to get us 20 million. Just be sure not to get confused as there is a zero in our whole number that we are multiplying. It is the whole number plus an additional six zeros for this example. Now that you have the basic principle down, let's look at it differently with these four examples. Find the missing exponent index. First, we have 7 times 10 to what power equals 7 million? We have the number 7, and it's followed by 6 zeros, so according to the rule, it would be 10 to the 6th. Next example. 11 times 10 to what power is 11,000? Three zeros means 10 to the 3rd power, or 10 cubed. 9 times 10 to what power equals 9 billion? Here you'll see nine zeros following the original nine, so the answer is 10 to the ninth power. And finally, two times 10 to what power is 200,000? Five zeros means 10 to the fifth power. So that's it for multiplying whole numbers times a power of 10. If you want some additional practice on this topic, head on over to improvemath.com and snag a printable worksheet with answers. As always, this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.